respectively. The word, respectively, is used to indicate that the items being mentioned should be understood in the same order as the previous list or mentioned items. It helps to establish a clear correspondence between different sets of data or elements. Here are a few examples to illustrate the usage of, respectively. Example 1. John and Sarah are siblings. John is 25 years old, and Sarah is 30 years old. In this case, we can say, John and Sarah are 25 and 30 years old, respectively. The word, respectively, clarifies that John's age corresponds to the first person mentioned, John, and Sarah's age corresponds to the second person mentioned, Sarah. Example 2. I have two cats and a dog. The cats are named Tom and Jerry, and the dog is named Max. To describe their colors, we can say, Tom, Jerry, and Max are black, white, and brown, respectively. Here, respectively, emphasizes that the first cat, Tom, is black, the second cat, Jerry, is white, and the dog, Max, is brown. Example 3. We conducted a survey among three age groups, children, teenagers, and adults. The survey results showed that 60%, 75%, and 80% of the participants from each group liked playing video games. To present this information, we can say, among the children, teenagers, and adults, 60%, 75%, and 80% liked playing video games, respectively. This usage of, respectively, ensures that the percentages match the order of the age groups mentioned. In summary, respectively, is a useful word that helps maintain a clear correspondence between different sets of data or elements. It ensures that the order of items mentioned in a list aligns with the subsequent information provided.